everyone, May is right around the corner, so of course it is time for my May plan with me. Since my April spreads were filled with super bright colors, I wanted to go with a more muted and calm vibe, and I thought an underwater ocean-y theme would just be perfect. So I hope you all enjoy this month's theme, and let's just jump right into the video. So starting off with the cover page, I was really inspired by Blush and May on Instagram. She did a really beautiful whale theme last year, so I definitely wanted to incorporate a whale somewhere in my spreads too. Once I have the body and the fins drawn out, I added these little lines on the bottom part of its mouth like chin area since humpback whales have these ridges on their undersides. Then behind him, I'm making this circular ring as a border, and the rest of my doodles will go inside of it. For the bubbles, you want to keep them really random, making them different sizes and have some clustered together while keeping others more spread apart. They shouldn't be super uniform looking, and I added a little curve line off to the side of them just to give them a little dimension. Then I'm adding in various underwater plants just so it doesn't look so bare. And with my Tombow Fudenosuke hard tip brush pen, I'm writing out May at the top and then I'm using the same pen to fill in the ring border. It came out a little thicker than I had planned but that's okay, I just decided to roll with it. The majority of the colors I'm using today are also Tombows so I'm coloring in my whale with a deep gray, making sure to leave its chin part bare. And then I'm using a really light blue to fill in the bubbles and some random colors for the plants. You can use whatever colors you want. If you want, you can just use one color palette, but I thought these few pops of colors looked really nice. Now moving on to my calendar, I made these boxes 5x7 and I really loved this pretty light periwinkle color. I thought it looked really soothing so I used it to write out the month and the days at the top. And at first I wrote out the numbers with it too but I thought it looked a little too plain inside the calendar so later on you see that I go back and fix this part. Then using the Micron 01 pen, I'm doodling in these little corals and plants in the bottom corner and I included this big clamshell with a shiny pearl inside. And of course, I gotta throw in some more bubbles into the background and I also can't forget my monthly to-do section. I find that this really helps me remember my monthly work tasks that don't necessarily have like a due date but they should be done at some point before the end of the month so it just keeps me on track. You can replace it with anything you find more useful. I know like a lot of people use a water tracker or like a recipe list here, so you just do you. Since I thought the calendar needed more color, I decided to use the same periwinkle marker and I just drew a thick line over the top of the numbers and for those empty boxes at the beginning and the end, I used the gray marker. Then I just filled out the numbers with the Tombow brush pen and I am really happy with how this turned out in the end. Onto my tracker spreads, I'm doodling in these two giant jellyfishes. I know they look complicated, but they are actually really simple. So all you have to do is draw like a mushroom cap shape for its head, making sure the bottom curves upwards slightly. Then I added three thicker tentacles with a bunch of thinner wavy line tentacles, making sure those are all different lengths. Then at the top, I drew another line behind the tentacles to make the jellyfish head look hollow. Hopefully that makes sense. Again, I can do a doodle with me video and show you how I drew all of these different sea creatures and plants. For this month, I decided to experiment with a new layout for my mood and habit trackers again. I'm just still trying to figure out what kinds I like using the best, so I'm trying out this really simple layout where the dates are spread out horizontally and everything is tracked inside one big box instead of like having to draw out individual boxes for each habit because that can be pretty tedious, especially since I'm doing nine habits. And to color in the jellyfish, I'm using that same periwinkle blue color and I'm going over that hollow part of the head two or three times with the marker to make the color there look darker as if it was kind of like a shadow. I think that helps with like this hollow effect that I'm going for. 
So for each habit that I do, I'm just going to draw a little dot above the date and hopefully this box will just be filled with a bunch of little blue dots by the end of the month. And for my mood tracker, I'm using the same horizontal layout since I wanted it to all look cohesive. And depending on my mood, I'm going to be drawing in strands of kelp or like these seaweeds. The longer I draw means the happier I am and the shorter it is means the sadder I am. I thought this month would be a good time to add in another brain dump page since my February one is filled up now. At the bottom, I drew in a little octopus because they are really intelligent creatures and this page is here to help me get my brain juices flowing. Again, I included some bubbles and I'm using a light purple color for the octopus and to draw a line border around the edge just to add more color to this page. For my first weekly spread, I used the periwinkle marker to draw out these paint swatch designs for where the dates will be written out. Then I added in random bubble patterns all around each one to stick with the underwater theme. This layout is one of my favorites to do because it is so simple and easy, but it looks like a lot of thought and effort was still put into it. And now onto the second week, I used my Tombow brush pen again and wrote out the first letter of each day. Then I added a black circle where I write the date numbers on top with a white pen. I included a notes section off to the side, and since there was room underneath that box, I added in this quote, we dream in colors borrowed from the sea, and I doodle in this little wave pattern, and I absolutely love how this turned out. For these blues, I actually used the Crayola Super Tip markers if you were wondering. I just picked out five different shades of blue to fill in the waves. I saw this weekly spread design on Pinterest and I really love how this looked because they almost look like bubbles. So I used the periwinkle color to write out the dates and I made them pretty big. Then I wrote out the days of the week on top with my micron pen and drew in a circle border around the dates. As you can see, I like to keep my weekly spreads as simple as possible. So for this one, I used the green markers that were used to color in some of my underwater plants and I drew in a square border for them. These sections were 12 by 7 with two squares in between to space them out. And to fill in the background, I just doodled in a bunch of bubbles all over the page, making sure to leave a blank space for the note section at the bottom. And for the final week, I decided to write out the days with my Tombow brush pen since I felt like I barely did any calligraphy this month and I left like four to five boxes in between each day. Since this month ended on a Friday, I left out the weekend and just replaced it with a larger notes section. Then to the left of the letters, I drew these big blue bubbles and wrote the number inside. And that's it for my May setup. I thought that these colors were quite soothing, so hopefully you also felt relaxed while planning with me. If you decide to recreate any of these doodles, please tag me on Instagram at AFZXX3. I can't wait to see them, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!